claims that the province would remain tied to Brussels in the EU single market and customs union when the rest of the UK leaves were a falsehood, the Brexit secretary declared. But he triggered concern among some Tory MPs as he dropped a bombshell by signalling that the UK could agree to follow similar standards to the EU on food safety, animal welfare and employment rights in order to keep the border open between Northern Ireland and the Irish Republic. His promise came as Theresa May continued her diplomatic effort to agree a deal on key issues with EU negotiators to allow the stuttering talks on Britain's future relationship with the bloc to progress. The Prime Minister was understood to be in intense talks with Arlene Foster, leader of Northern Ireland's Democratic Unionist Party, to try to persuade her that the proposed border deal will not lead to the fracturing of the UK. Pamela Davis has reassured Arlene Foster that Northern Ireland will not be fractured from the UK. Related articles K. Burley slams Keir Starmer for unhelpful Labour Brexit strategy David Davis rejects special deal for Northern Ireland. Getty Theresa May is in talks with Arlene Foster after she expressed concern about the proposals. The suggestion that we might depart the European Union but leave one part of the United Kingdom behind is emphatically not something that the UK government is considering. David Davis Mr Davis also sought to ease concerns about Northern Ireland's future. The suggestion that we might depart the European Union but leave one part of the United Kingdom behind, still inside the single market and customs union. That is emphatically not something that the UK government is considering, he said. He hit out at Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, her Welsh counterpart Carwyn Jones and London Mayor Sadiq Khan for seeking border deals of their own, saying, they're making a foolish mistake. No UK government would allow such a thing, let alone a conservative and unionist one. Getty Theresa May shook hands with Donald Tusk at the European Commission in Brussels. Officials insisted Mrs May's border plan did not mean that Britain would remain under the sway of Brussels regulations after Brexit. The UK would only agree to maintain regulatory standards in alignment with the EU. Mr Davis said. We want to maintain safety, food standards, animal welfare and employment rights but we do not have to do that by exactly the same mechanism as everybody else. That is what regulatory alignment means. In the Commons, senior Tory backbencher Jacob Rees-Mogg said that keeping the whole UK together and allowing regulatory divergence after Brexit were indelible red lines. Getty Mars May and Mr. Juncker spoke at a press conference following Brexit negotiations in Brussels. And later Mr. Rees-Mogg criticized the use of the phrase regulatory alignment. I think it is a dubious form of words. Regulatory freedom is one of the key advantages of Brexit, the MP told the Daily Express. Former Tory cabinet minister Ian Duncan Smith urged Mrs May to quit the talks if the EU failed to change its approach. He said the Prime Minister should tell the EU, you need to change this price and back off now or we get on with other arrangements. Mrs May yesterday insisted a lot of progress was being made ahead of a crunch EU summit next week that will determine whether talks can move on to the key issue of trade.
meeting her Spanish counterpart Mariano Rajoy in Downing Street, the Prime Minister also pledged, I know in everything we do we want to ensure, particularly, that we recognize the needs of Spanish citizens here in the UK, and UK citizens living in Spain. She is expected to return to Brussels as early as tomorrow to resume the talks with European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker which broke up on Monday after Mrs. Foster intervened to reject the proposed terms for a deal on the Northern Ireland border. Last night Mrs. May telephoned Mrs. Foster and Sinn Féin leader Michelle O'Neill to gain their backing. But ahead of the call. DUP leader Mrs. Foster said she had not seen the text for an Irish border arrangement between the government and the EU until Monday, when Mrs. May was already close to concluding agreement on it with Mr. Juncker. Mrs. Foster said, Obviously, once we saw the text, we knew it wasn't going to be acceptable. Related articles Walk Away IDS tells the EU to back off Sinn Féin leader urges Theresa May to get special status deal for Nitori MP confident Dup will give in to future plans for Brexit.